Welcome everybody back into my seventh edition of the Strong Human Project. I am wrapping up week number three already. Didn't record much throughout the week. I did record my, my bench press on Monday, dumbbell press on Monday. And Tuesday I recorded my squats, my Bulgarian split squats challenge set. Wednesday, I didn't record anything for my conditioning day. For conditioning, I did some sled dragging, I did some jump rope, I did some sprints. Thursday, I didn't record anything. I actually didn't do my workout at home, I did it at the local high school, so I was able to do my pull-ups with an actual weight belt. Did it with 40 pounds, 4443 four, I believe is my rep count for those. Felt okay, I got a good bruise on my shin from it actually. On our road, the high school only goes up to 85 pounds, so uh, I did 85. I ended up just doing uh, 10 on my last set. Could have did more, but different environment. It's always different when it comes to working out. You know, you're working on a new gym. I got pretty comfortable working out here down in my basement. Then going into the high school, you know, I was talking to some guys that I hadn't seen in a while. So you kind of lose focus on, on the task at hand, and it's just, it just gives you a different benefit of being around people and having that community feel that a gym can offer. Today, I'm actually going to take the day off uh, from working out. I had to go for a walk this morning. Some ambition to do kind of like a bro day. I want to, I want to do a little bit of pressing, and uh, so I might do some mess around down here today and do some uh, kind of pump work more or less, keep the volume pretty low. But
the speed stimulant uh, and uh, and feed the itch that I have today to to lift some weight. So we went real well. I did see some some strength gains. Of course, you're gonna see it in my videos. You know, when I started this program on August 2nd or whatever it was, I had my my bench press max at 235 with four reps. In the video, you're gonna see I did. Four, 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 three at 245. So obviously that's improvement there. My barbell back squat, I only could do three sets at, or three reps at 285. You'll see I did 285 for four reps. So there's more improvement. My challenge sets, I mean, I'm doing full gain split squats with 75 pound dumbbells. I'm doing dumbbell press with, with 90 pound dumbbells. So some good improvement all around there. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I, I've been eating, eating fairly well for the most part. And then uh, conditioning wise, I feel like I could probably pick it up a little bit. I was hoping to get in and play some basketball and I just have not been able to do that yet. So uh, that is a big driver when it comes to my conditioning. So enjoy the clips, subscribe, like, uh, share with a friend if you, if you do enjoy it. If you do find some of the tips that I'm, I'm offering useful, make sure you're sharing them and you guys have a good week. Be proactive with your health before you are forced to be reactive. So don't wait until you're pre-diabetic to start, you know, taking care of yourself. You're from an exercise standpoint, from a nutrition standpoint. Don't wait for your doctor to prescribe you another medication to help manage your health. Don't wait till you're in season, realize you're not big enough, fast enough, strong enough, and then wait till the off season to then work on that. Like, so you can start right now and be proactive. There's a good, there's ways to do it. You, know, you can hire a personal trainer. You can hire a nutritionist. You can educate yourself online with information. But we need to be more uh, proactive with our health, less reactive once things go wrong. Two snack tips to help limit the portion sizes of your snacks you're consuming and help stretch how long it takes for you to consume them. So step number one is creating barriers in your house to your snacks. So if it's chips yet you or cookies or whatever, something goes in the pantry, you wanna put those not at eye level, but either way down low or if you have a taller one up high and in the back so that it's inconvenient to get to them. If it's ice cream or a frozen fruit or frozen food, you're gonna to wanna to put it, again, in the back of the freezer or if you have a second freezer, maybe downstairs or in the garage, you wanna store that in there. Secondly is never take the bag to the couch. So if it's, again, chips or cookies, don't go sit down with the whole bag. Take your portion size out, put it in a bowl or a plate, then go put that those chips or cookies or whatever it is back in that inconvenient place where your barrier is. That'll help limit your, your overall consumption, reduce your calories, make it a little easier to lose weight.